Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Garage. Here we are in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We've got two cars currently on the lift. One we have not started yet. One we got started last episode. It took quite some time because, well, for once, we actually had to discover the problem ourselves. Now, I'll tell you this. I was beginning to get annoyed with the repetitiveness of the jobs and just rinse and repeat, find or get the list from the customer and uh, just essentially do the list and you're done. And I, yeah, I was, I was getting tired of the repetitiveness. Probably you were as well. And um, anyway, I am glad that particular job came across. So it, uh, yeah, yeah, that was actually fun. Anyway, let's take a look at this one real quick just to see what we've got. Um, list provided, list provided, list provided. Ooh, a muffler. So, sloppy car steering. We've done that. Some of this stuff we haven't done. So, we'll do this one on camera because it is a slightly different job than normal. Uh, different parts to mess with just to get familiar with. Uh, actually, the exhaust system is the first time we've done that. So anyway, back to this one. We have got to finish up. Uh, we've done the brake system. We've got to put in the new timing parts. And, uh, well, we had to pretty much take apart the entire engine. So before we even get back to putting on the timing parts, we have to put the entire engine block back together. And this is a list of what we need to purchase. So we've got three camshaft caps, one camshaft, one crankshaft bearing cap, fuel filter and a radiator and these are the i6 inline 6 versions of the camshaft and camshaft caps okay got to buy a timing chain i6 timing chain sprocket and water pump i6 so we've got our work cut out for us we need to put all that back together oh and we're going to have to replace the oil i bet i don't know how much oil but we will have to replace the oil anyway so let's go into the engine we will need uh, cam gear is fine cam shaft i6 yep oh that's expensive part there we need three of these okay and then we need a crankshaft bearing cap so one of those and then what else did we find the fuel filter that was one and a radiator so let's take a look here and a radiator let's go down okay and then we also needed a timing chain and that's from the i6 version not a timing belt timing chain i6 excellent and then we need a timing was it the timing chain sprocket let's just let's just take a look at our inventory here. Can we hit the I key? Yeah. Um, timing chain sprocket. Cam gear is fine. Is there a search? Let's see. Ignition wires. Timing chain sprocket. Yeah, timing chain sprocket. So we've got to get one of those for the I6 as well as a water pump and water pump pulley so we'll get that and and then a timing chain sprocket i6 all right now let's just go back over here and just to make sure we got the camshaft got the three camshaft caps crankshaft bearing cap fuel filter radiator timing chain okay i think i think we're ready to go so uh, the first order of business, we need to put this back up so we can get under the car. There's a few things we have to put back on. So we'll come in here. We'll go into assemble mode. And then we've got, uh, let's see, we may be able to put on, yep, oil filter can go in. Let's see if we can move the camera. Um, maybe back here, was it? There should be, yeah, there we go. So we'll put the one that we needed to replace back on, and then we'll put the oil pan back on. And maybe zoom out a little bit. 
And I think that's all we had to do here under, under the car. And then we can put the lift back down. Again, that's rather loud. I probably should have closed the hood. Are you supposed to close the hood when you move the car up and down on the lift? I don't know. Uh, this is this is all new to me. Um, so we want to go back into assemble mode. We've got, uh, let's see, alternator needs to go back. And that's kind of a necessary thing. Um, and then up here, the water pump does that go on no oh, anyway let's let's come up here and see what we can put on the top put the engine head ah uh, yes tons of bolts to put in okay almost done we should soon be hitting a new experience level so we can buy another upgrade we'll put the new camshaft on excellent and we'll put this one back on okay and now we can start putting in or reattaching all of this let's zoom in so that it's a little less annoying shall we okay put this one in yeah i know i'm not putting them in quite where they should be going but uh, or where they came from originally, but I think that's fine. Over here. And we'll come back through, make sure to remember to put in the spark plugs. Those are also necessary. Okay. Should be good, almost. Almost done, almost done with this part. Let's see. How about, okay, there's one there. And then we'll have to put the carburetors on as well. So yeah, this was a rather involved repair. And I can see once you start getting into a lot of suspension work and a lot of engine work here, if you have to take off the valve cover, you're in for a major, major repair. We'll do this, all the spark plugs. I don't know that it matters necessarily which one goes where. Now, one thing you have to remember in replacing the spark plug wires is the firing order. And I don't, well, they don't make us remember that on this one, which is, I guess that's kind of good. Okay. So we should be able to put the carburetors back on. Was it four bolts per? Okay, let's grab that. And then we'll we'll just finish all of one piece and then move to the next piece. So carburetors first, then the air filters. And hopefully we don't run into issues like I've done before and uh, forgotten a part. Almost done with, yep, there's the last air filter. Now let's come around here, maybe put the radiator in. Yep, because that wasn't relying on anything. Fuel filter, that needs to go on as well. Let's come back around here, zoom out. We'll put, no, let's kind of be realistic. Oh, camera, oh, that camera movement. Let's put the exhaust manifolds back on. And this was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun taking apart the engine. It's a, you know, it's a little puzzle and and that's one of the things that this particular game, I saw it as offering early on when I got it, and we're finally to that level. Hopefully, um, we are soon done with the just rinse and repeat type, um, type situation. So the timing chain can go on, then the timing chain sprocket, that can go on. Let's put the timing cover on. Only three, three bolts there. Does that seem right? D is that all? Oh, one more, four, okay. I knew it wasn't quite right, okay. So the water pump can go right there. And then the water pump pulley. Okay, 
And then up top, engine head cover. Oh, same same as the as the head, um, the the main block. Okay, left click, not right click. Keep getting that wrong. There we go. What if you can speed this up too? Who knows? Who knows? We'll see what what of the uh, upgrades we can do in the near future. So uh, let's see what's next. We'll do ignition distributor. And then there's one piece right in the center there. And then we'll put the distributor cap back on. Okay, crankshaft pulley. Is there one more? Are there any other parts? Let's take a look. Maybe search. Um, all. Oh, uh, the clips. Those go on the distributor cap. So let's make sure we put those on. If that's the only thing that I have forgotten, we can consider this a successful, a successful build indeed. Uh, let's just again take a look. We've got no extra parts. We'll take a look at our repair orders. We have done all of it. So let's step back and we will move this one to the center. And then uh, once again, we will take a picture because that's what you do, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, I think I think what we need to do is take it for oh the oil almost almost forgot. Let's move this back. Um, I think we may be able to access this from here. Yeah. I don't know if you can overfill these things. And there we go. Okay. And let's close the hood. And we'll see if we can take this thing out. Finally. Finally. Excellent. We should be able to. Hopefully OBS is getting this. It's a little cutscene to load up the test track and all that. So we will try and go over there. All right, here we are at the test track. Okay, it looks like we're doing fine. Okay, it's a standard shift. Let's see, which way is this going? It's been a while since I've been to the test track. Okay, I guess you can't wreck the things? Who knows? Maybe you can. We'll find out. We'll find out if you can actually wreck them. The steering is kind of tight. I bet this would be a lot easier in if you had like the steam controller or something. So we'll see what kind of damage we did as we load back up the garage. Hopefully I don't have to do any body work because we don't have the paint shop part of the garage yet. Let's let this thing load in.
All right, there's the test track. It looks like, uh, I mean, they're doing all right on the overall, um, the overall suspension and everything. Was there any damage? There's no damage. So you can run into pretty much anything you want to. I really don't like doing that on customer cars because, uh, well, they're kind of paying for, for this thing. Anyway, maybe eventually we'll get to ruining stuff and we can get the paint shop, but we don't have enough experience. We do have 3,008, which means another experience point available. We are our upgrade point. Fast manual examination. We've got a tablet. Repair tools level one. 50% chance of repair. Huh. So maybe... Maybe we go this this route and see if we can start repairing um, repairing some of our things. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do we're going to go that route, um, and so that would mean that our parts cost for the overall job would go down. Hopefully, so anyway, we are done with this one. All of everything checks out. We're going to finish the job. We are at 3108 experience, 10,784. Not quite done. We're going to sell off all this junk here. I could repair it, I guess. But for now, we're going to sell this. And then we'll see in the next one, once we get to the Salem Flemo, we'll see what is there. Let's take a look at the jobs that have come in. Since we last started, we got another Salem Flammo car is loud list provided. Um, and then a Katagiri Katsumoto. We've seen that car before. I'll do that one off camera because it re repair all running gear faults. Car is loud, so it's going to be in the muffler. We're going to do a muffler job right there. So uh, these next two, I'll just do those off camera since we've already seen a, the Salem Flammo and a and this Katsumoto. So I'll take care of that off camera and then we will come or well, we'll take care of this one next and then I'll do those. And then maybe by then we'll have enough. No, no, no. We can do the Delray custom repair all running gear faults loud when accelerating general gearbox control and repair. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we've already got one car in. Let's take care of what we've got, what we've already accepted, and then we'll start worrying about what to do next. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that little puzzle, the completion of that particular car. I certainly did, and hopefully you did as well, and hopefully it shows. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, uh, if you enjoyed, think about hitting the like button, and if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. But that's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.